Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Okay, so first things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but you would really help me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. Okay, so let's start. So we are looking at the Brickle Shampoo and Conditioner for men today. So for men's hair, this stuff is really, really super cool. It's amazing and absolutely great and offers tons to your hair. So if that's what you're waiting for, there you go. Fantastic product. If you want to know more, stay tuned. Okay, so we are going to start with the shampoo so this is the daily strengthening shampoo with amino acids vitamin e and hydrogenized protein it thickens strengthens and cleanses the hair okay so straight away you note that it's a very strong sort of fragrant uh shampoo it's got a real stimulating uh like a like a peppermint tone to it it's got some other sort of it's almost like very garden type smells like you can tell there's some really nice natural ingredients in here as well um it lathers up really really nicely you don't need to use too much of it at all as i say i actually uh i received this as a gift as a gift pack actually from my brother's partner who is in america so an absolute huge thank you to her for actually introducing me to the brickle products um absolutely lovely lady and really really lovely and so so thoughtful it's been a while since i've reviewed this but i've been using it on and off and as i said i first started it once i received it as a gift and now i purchase if i want to use it again which i have done once from amazon which getting to that amazon it is a little bit more costly it's around about the 20 pounds mark for each but with that and bear in mind you do not need to use too much at all it does last and i would have to admit that this shampoo conditioner does seem to last a little bit more than one which i would necessarily buy on the high street i think whether or not because i've got it in my mindset that it's a little bit more expensive it's got those ingredients in to strengthen and to thicken and bulk out the hair i'll go a little bit steady on it whereas on a high street product i may sort of use it a bit excessively but let's move on from cost so is it worth it? Ultimately, is it worth it for this shampoo? So this here, when I first, when I first ever started using this, and this is a while back now, because I've had an operation, everything, um, and I'm, I'm getting through that, I'm getting through all that now, so I'm starting on different products and things. I've also had a huge, my life's been turned upside down with losing my grandmother, which is very, very difficult on a daily basis. So hair products and things is something which I get into because it's an interest and I love to review it and I love to help people out on my channel as well. And it's a big passion of mine, something I enjoy. So this shampoo, what do I notice when I first start to use it? So number one, yes, it is worth it. When I first started using it, I thought, hmm, it's not that smoothing. It's not that conditioning. And then actually, when you take a moment to actually think about what it does, it thickens, it strengthens and it cleanses. So it doesn't make the hair rough or it doesn't make the hair uncomfortable and it certainly doesn't agitate my neck or my scalp or anything like that at all. But what it does straight away, and you can feel whilst you're washing your hair, that it really does start to sort of separate those hairs. And it really, I, know, I know it sounds strange because your hair's wet, but you can literally feel the hair almost sort of, ever so slightly, just becoming a little bit more bulkier, taking on sort of more bulk, which ultimately, if you've got fine hair, which this range is designed for, for you, for, for men with fine hair, perhaps you are getting a bit of a problematic area, perhaps on the back of your scalp or your temples are, but you just ultimately want to add more thickness, more bulk to your hair. And this is great for you. And the shampoo really, really does get to work on that straight away. What I notice as well, I mean, I've got highlighted hair, is it really does fortify and strengthen the hair. Now, I don't mean just by grabbing hold of a piece of hair and then just literally breaking it off. I don't mean that it, it solves all of that at all. If you're going to be rough with your hair, then hair's going to break. But if you take your time and if you have patience and if you have um, care when you do wash your hair, the properties in the shampoo, I can actually tell that when I wash my hair, my hair seems to have more resistance. It seems to have much more structure and strength. Whereas before, if I'm sort of um, sort of like a, a bog standard volumizing shampoo conditioner, which very often I do use if I'm doing like a volumized style, then the hair sort of flops. It feels quite flat, feels quite weak. Whereas this it adds that vitality, that structure into the hair. Sounds strange, doesn't it? But if you even just try it for the first shampoo, from the first shampoo, I noticed after using it, it really did transform my hair. Now, you may think he's absolutely talking a load of rubbish. I'm not. Check on my channel. I've reviewed a lot of products and I will always give you my honest approach because at the end of the day, if I'm not being honest about it, then what's it actually doing? So please just bear that in mind. I just want to go into a little bit more detail on the back here. 
Thickens, yes, it absolutely does. You can even start to feel it when the hair's wet. Strengthens, yes, most certainly. As I say, I've got highlighted hair. My hair's naturally quite fine, and it really does reinforce, sort of give that structure, that nice strength to, to my hair. And then it cleanses. It absolutely does that, but it doesn't make your scalp uncomfortable or itchy or red or anything like that at all. And some products have done that to me in the past, and I will always tell you, but this one is not one of them. Okay, so let's tell you a little bit about it here on the back. So it's all natural and ingredient, uh, all natural and organic, sorry. It's 237 mils the bottle. And just to tell you a little bit about it on the back, this natural shampoo uses a rich lather to deliver potent natural ingredients to your hair that leave it looking fuller, healthier and shinier. Peppermint and tea tree stimulate the scalp, encouraging hair growth and preventing dandruff while creating an invigorating scent for all hair types tested on humans, which I think is always fantastic to get that in there. Directions apply to wet hair and massage into a rich lather. Rinse well and repeat if necessary. Now, very often, I always shampoo my hair twice. Now, that's number one, to get rid of all the product which I've got in my hair from the day style. And then number two, for the ingredients in the shampoo to really get to work on my hair follicles and my scalp. Noting what we just discussed in here is the peppermint and the tea tree, which, as I say, when you wash your hair, it really is really awakening. It's perfect to use first thing in the morning, and it really just, just completely sort of wakes you up, give you that zing on your scalp, and it's got an amazing smell. You do not need to use too much of it either. And I always find that when you find that tingling sensation on your scalp from a product, it's then started to make you think, hey, hang about, this is starting to work. So this stuff is really pretty good and it's very, very, um, it's very sort of, in a way, it's very surprising because you don't necessarily think that a product, even when your hair's wet, is going to give you strength for your hair, but it does. So this stuff is absolutely awesome in my opinion and I absolutely love this. It's not just pretty good, it's downright pretty amazing. Okay, so let's just touch on some ingredients. So we've got the aloe vera juice in here, which we know is really great for looking after the hair and the scalp, and of course skin anyway. We've got pro vitamin B5 in here, so that's the panathenol. We've also got lavender in here. We have got protein amino acid blends in here. We have got, bear with me, we have got the camille oil in here. We have got hydrogenized wheat protein here which is really good for, no, uh, which is known in hair products for bulking uh, fine hair. So if you imagine a hair uh, cuticle and then the hydrogenized wheat, uh, which very often hydrogenized wheat proteins and things in hair, I think we just mentioned, yes, wraps and loops itself around the hair, making the hair thicker and bulkier. And then when it's dried, that inflates a little bit more as well. So it all adds to the bulk of your hair. So it certainly does make your hair appear thicker and fuller. So it's got rose hip fruit oil in here as well. It's got jojoba seed oil in here too, vitamin E, it's also got peppermint essential oil and it's got tea tree leaf essential oil in here. And as I say, you really do get a sense of all the natural ingredients in here. It really gets to work on your scalp straight away. Have I noticed a reduction in the amount of hair full? I'll be quite honest. When I use this range, I sort of drop in and out of it. So because I've got fine hair and I'm always looking for volume, at the moment I'm not necessarily using it for in terms of hair full or hair loss. But however, the tea tree in here, the peppermint oil in here is really stimulating on the scalp. And I would absolutely say to you, give this a try. If you're concerned with your scalp, absolutely give yourself a, a sort of a little bit of a, a TLC sort of did I say that right? TLC, Tender Loving Care, absolutely, gift for your scalp, because the shampoo is really something, if you don't like me, I, I use it first of all, I'm not too sure, use it a second time, use it a third time and a fourth time, perhaps on different days, you will then, because it's different, you're not perhaps going to agree with it straight away, but when you start using it and you actually get the feel of your hair getting a bit stronger, a bit more fuller, the bulk's there in your hair, this stuff is great, and I really, really do enjoy using it. So that's the shampoo. Okay, the conditioner. Now the conditioner, if I had a favourite, it would be the shampoo. Because what I tend to do sometimes is if I use the shampoo, then I mix different conditioners. Because this stuff is very, very thick. So it's very viscous. So it's a little bit difficult for me to get out the bottle. It's a great conditioner. And again, what it does is it adds bulk to the hair. So it really makes your hair feel fuller and thicker. But it also adds structure and stability and strength to the hair. So highlighted hair, anybody who knows who's got dark hair and then highlighted, let's be honest, all the will in the world, it can just break. Just like that. You can go so, you can go sort of soft with your hair as you're drying it off. You can go really, really gentle. And then strangely, you'll see a piece of hair just break off. That is, unfortunately, when you've got fine textured hair and you choose to have it highlighted and you style your hair often. 
There's no getting away from it. But using the right products and regular trims, your hair can be healthy and it can still look really, really good. I like to think mine does. But this conditioner, what I find I had to be careful with, because it was so thick, I found that it tugged a little bit on my finer textured hair. So it was really quite nice, but for a conditioner which is designed for making uh, improved sort of health and vitality, um, I found that it, it could just be a little bit thinner, but ultimately, what I found what I done is if I if I um, made sure I have wet hands and then wet hair, of course from the shampooing, and um, then the conditioner in my hands, if I then sort of applied it throughout my hands and then into my hair, it was um, with wet hands, so then you could, I mean, I'm trying to say like, it's almost like that you've you've watered the product down a little bit in your hands, I suppose I'm trying to say, and then applied it in your hair, just to make it that little bit more thinner and that little bit more pliable. After that, leave it in for a couple of minutes and it's really, really good and it looks after the hair. So just that sort of blip there that it's just a bit too thick for my liking, but again, it's a really great product. But if I had a favorite, it would be the shampoo. Okay, so this one is the revitalizing hair conditioner. So just giving a little bit more detail on this one as well. So it's got with aloe in here, it's got borage oil in here, and we have got avocado oil in here. So it moisturizes, restores, and shines. Now I know this one doesn't necessarily say for thicker, making the hair appear thicker, but it does give you that bulk and that lift in the places where you need it. So it also moisturizes. When it says restores, I believe that means restore shine, health, and vitality. Now, if you use this and then you just wash it out straight away, it's not amazing, I'll be quite honest with you, but if you leave it on for five to 10 minutes to 15 minutes, which I have done before when I've got the time, it's downright incredible. It's a really, really great conditioner. So for me, it's not a quick one. You do have to give yourself time with this. The shampoo, brilliant. If you haven't got much time, amazing stuff. The conditioner, you do need to allow yourself a bit more time with this, but I ultimately do really like it. Um, as I say, price-wise, I get mine from Amazon now, and as I say, I've only purchased it once since, the, since I received this from my brother's partner as a gift, which is so lovely of her. Um, super incredible, super amazing person, really, really thoughtful and lovely to do that. Um, and this stuff, I I can't quite remember how much I actually paid, but I think I paid nearly 36 to 40 pounds for them both. So just sort of be a little bit sort of, because um, I do I do find that that is a little bit, even as I'm saying, it is a bit more of an investment, but it is a really great product range, but just give yourself time to really experience the benefits from it as well. Um, I only do this because it's a bit of a passion of mine and I love reviewing products. So it's not uncommon for me to pay that sort of, even I've paid more than that as well but even just your really cheap product can be just as amazing as well so i don't want to take that off of anybody who's just watching this for interest let's tell you a little bit about it on the back here as well so this one again is 237 mils okay so this men's conditioner nourishes the hair to revitalize shine moisturize and elasticity so we'll, we'll get onto that in just a moment. So essential oils soothe the scalp, promoting hair growth with after every shampoo to build full, healthy looking hair tested on humans for all hair types. Now it says here directions, massage a quarter size amount into wet hair, especially ends of hair strands and scalp after shampooing. Rinse after, uh, rinse after conditioner has worked into hair thoroughly, perfect for all hair types. It is, absolutely. For short hair, I think it would be super amazing wouldn't have to worry about it at all but if you've got longer length hair like me of course it's not super long but it is fine just go careful and my sort of best tip for you always go in when you've got really really wet hands so soak your hands wet then put this into your hands and then sort of just just sort of um um what am i trying to say sort of reduce it down in your hands a little bit oh got an update coming up shortly as well so just reduce it into your hands a little bit then add it into your hair rather than just straight away into your hands and then straight into your hair because you will find that it's just a bit too thick and it does tug and sort of go a little bit strenuous on the hair as well another one okay so if you've got finer texture hair just perhaps bear that in mind all right okay but ultimately i really like this range i just want to pick up on the ingredients on the conditioner so we have got the aloe uh, leaf juice in here we have got the avocado oil in here we've got the evening primrose oil in here we've got the linseed oil we've got the borage oil uh star flower i believe that is um we have got uh jojoba oil in here olive oil in here, coconut oil, shea butter, vitamin B5, we've got uh, cochu cola, um, which is an extract, we've got dandelion in here, we've got wild uh, geranium in here, so tea tree, 
There's lots and lots of all different natural ingredients in here. So ultimately, you know you're getting really great, rich ingredients in your shampoo conditioner range here, and it really does look after your hair. The only thing I would say is just with the conditioner, allow yourself time, because ultimately you'll use it first of all if you're anything like me, and you'll think, hmm, spent a lot of money on that, not so sure. Use it a second time, use it a third time, you'll absolutely love it. For men's hair, I think it's it's just brilliant. It really, really is brilliant. It puts volume, structure, sort of strength back into the hair, that vitality and that health. Ultimately, what we're all looking for, for great looking hair for you to continue styling and enjoying great looking hair. I really hope you very much enjoyed this clip. I certainly have. If you have any questions for me, please leave them down below. I do my best to get back to you as quickly as I can. But until next time, we will see you then. Bye for now.